hello everyone and welcome back to the channel i hope you all are doing absolutely well guys in this video i will be discussing cognizant gen c examination cutoff and results okay basically most of you have completed your technical assessment today okay and uh, there is a lot of queries that i was getting on cutoff uh, and should you start preparing for your interviews or the next round from now itself or not when exactly will your interviews happen all of these queries i will be answering in this video and i will be giving you some tips so that how can you prepare well for your interviews and from where you should prepare so before we start the video if you are new to my channel make sure to subscribe to the channel as i regularly upload these kinds of helpful videos for all of you on my channel also there is a complete play playlist on cognizant prep on my channel where you can find a lot of data about your gen c examination and i have already shared a lot of uh, real gen c examination interview experiences in this playlist make sure to check those videos as they are going to be super helpful in your interview preparation let's get started and see some of the important details so see uh, now first before we discuss anything else let's understand the exam stages of cognizant gen c so your first round usually is your communication round which most of you have completed and in that you have your basically english proficiency test is there and then it is mandatory for moving to the next rounds now i was getting a lot of queries that you know co uh, communication round also link we have got and uh, along with that only we have got the links for aptitude and technical also right so what is the need of communication assessment is this actually even an elimination round or is it just for you know like it has no importance of its so guys definitely it has its own importance because when you get shortlisted for your further rounds which is interviews the result of all the three assessments is considered okay your communication assessment your aptitude and then your technical assessment so don't consider that communication is not important now some of you might have queries because what i got to know from a lot of you over instagram dm and in the comment section that you was some of someone have attended like only one assessment like uh, technical someone was able to attend only two one was not able to attend like aptitude because of some technical region uh you know it got uh, like closed in between so for those candidates also i would suggest that don't uh, like you know lose hope in between attempt all the email uh, like assessment emails that you are getting attempt all those assessments don't lose any hope because you never know how the cutoff will go to go and what can happen okay so don't consider that okay yeah like i didn't even got the link for communication i directly got the link for aptitude so what's the point of attending it if i have not attended the communication you should never think of it okay uh, just attend every single assessment i was also getting this query that in the technical assessment we have selected cluster 3 but we got cluster 1 we have selected cluster 2 but we got cluster 1 so sh should we not even attempt it because we don't know java for java folks they were saying that we got cluster 3 should we not even attend it because we don't know c sharp but guys don't think like that okay just attempt whatever assessments you are getting just understand that even attempting is important sometimes okay you never know how the cutoff will go and what magic can happen anything can happen we have seen previously also the cases where students have missed a lot of questions even after that they got shortlisted for interviews so anything can happen that's why i always say that do not leave any examination for which you have got already got the email because you don't know many of the candidates are still waiting for their like assessment emails only they have registered on feb uh, like 27 24th different dates but till now they have not got but for them also i'm saying uh, just please wait some time because cognizant is like uh, conducting these assessment in phases so if you have not got it you will also get it soon okay so these were some of the tips from my end now let's move on to next round what is your next round after communication it is aptitude plus technical so you guys have all attempted your aptitude and technical assessment these were conducted between 5th to 7th march 7th is today and then aptitude test covers your quantitative logical and uh, verbal reasoning was not there but instead this time it was gamified right we have seen that uh, in aptitude they have changed the pattern to like uh, numerical ability and gamified based aptitude questions we will also discuss what is the cutoff that you need to have in your aptitude test then in technical assessment it covers basic coding and domain specific questions okay based on your clusters we will also see that cutoff okay round three is going to be your offline technical interviews which will be conducted in person you need to like uh, have go to that particular location in order to appear for those technical interviews and if you are not aware from where to prepare i have taken the interview experiences of actual selected candidates and it is already shared in this playlist make sure to check all the interview experiences as it is going to be very helpful okay now uh, it is very mandatory to attend interviews for different roles because you know before your interview only you will get to know your role uh, like because for which role you are interviewing for okay in that email only it will be mentioned let's see further information 
let's see the cutoff now okay so cognitant does not officially or disclose your cutoff marks okay but based on the previous stands we know that what is the cutoff that usually goes okay but if there is a high competition then the cutoff can go a bit higher but and if there is a low competition that the cutoff can go a bit lower also but since they are hiring in phases so that's a good news because you know not all are at attempting at the same time so they are taking candidates in phases so the cutoff tends to go a bit lower only so let's understand for aptitude part okay so you need to have 14 to 20 questions correct in with a minimum cutoff that is an usual cutoff that it goes and 20 to 25 uh, plus questions if you are made correct then you are having chances of higher selection so next is your game based aptitude in game based aptitudes uh, the performance is based on levels that you clear you have different levels okay so the better level you clear and the more questions that you attempt with uh, you know correctness then better your result will be I'm talking about technical section so in technical sections you have coding questions based on sql then you have uh, like your domain specific or cluster specific uh, coding questions which are two okay like you got two questions from sql two from this one and one from web development so around five so if you clear three uh, you have to you know uh, like attempt uh, three to four at least don't leave okay and uh, if you're two to three are also correct then there is good chances of getting a better role okay out of three gen c gen c next and gen c pro so this is your usual cutoff that it goes okay i hope i have clarified all your doubts if you have any doubts put it in the comment section now let's see the timelines okay results and interview timeline so see uh the assessments are completed for technical uh today some of them has completed their technical assessment on 7th of march now from 27th of march onwards candidates will start receiving their interview updates and within 10 to 15 days final results will be announced okay so when I say 10 to 15 days, 10 to 15 days from now, uh, like many of you will start getting your emails for your next rounds, which will be interviews. Okay. So keep checking your emails regularly. And if you have any doubts regarding your interviews, you can uh, DM me over Instagram or you can uh, put it in the comment section of this video. Also make sure to subscribe to the channel because that is the most important thing because I'm also going to post more data or content related to your interview preparation also. So after selection, uh, offline technical will be uh, technical interviews will be scheduled. Now there will be a lot of questions. I know already you might be having about interviews. What uh, should I even start preparing from now itself or should I wait for the result? Guys, no, you should not wait for your results. You should start preparing. You have to understand one thing, guys. You have to definitely get a job, right? You have to get placed. There is no other option from that, right? So why are you thinking that I will only appear for or I will only start preparing for interviews when I will get the, you know, interview email. See guys, when you prepare from now onwards, it is like your preparation won't go waste, right? Not for Cognizant, then for some other company after some time, one month, uh, some other companies will hire off campus and then you have to appear for that. So this preparation is not going to go waste. So don't think about that. Just start preparing from now itself. Doesn't matter if you get selected or rejected uh, from this round. Okay. But start preparing because at the end moment, then you will regret. Oh, I, if I should have prepared from a little bit uh, more days, then I would have got selected. That's what I'm saying. Your preparation won't go waste. It is your knowledge only. So don't worry about that. Okay. Now, yeah, a few of you might have this question that, you know, uh, like we have appeared the assessment, technical assessment in cluster two. So our interview will also be based on cluster two only or what? So see guys, I will tell you, see, it depends on totally inter on the interviewer. Many times what it happens now, it, not many, but in majority of the cases, this only happens that the interviewer will ask you, okay, what is your preferred coding language or something? And based on that, they ask you the questions, but it is not like so that you should not consider that okay they will ask me the you know uh, my preferred language or something and then only i will prepare according to that no you also have to prepare according to your cluster because according to the official notification your interview is tend to happen on your clusters base and we have seen that last time also last month also when the interviews have interviews happened the candidates who attempted or uh, appeared for cluster three got uh, like you know cluster three questions in the interviews on based on c sharp so that is why i'm saying that uh, you have the option that there might be a possibility that even though you prepare cluster, uh, cluster three questions and C sharp and all, but you didn't got those, but there can be other way around also. So that's what I'm saying. Prepare both and make sure that while you are giving your introduction in the interviews, include your skill set and your technologies, which you want them so that they ask questions. Okay. And all of this, I cannot explain in this video for that. I have already created interview experience videos in that you will get to know more details about it. So make sure to check it. Now, some important tips from my end is you must clear communication aptitude and technical assessments to qualify for the interview i am telling you now itself so many of you might have this doubt that you know my technical assessment was very well but my aptitude or communication was not well that's why you have to understand at that time that that is why you know not got selected okay and candidates with no prior experience will be considered as freshers moving on 
some tips start preparing from now itself for your technical and hr interviews revise coding topics like sql c sharp web development these are must okay sql is asked on a very high level in your interview so make sure to prepare for that practice aptitude and logical reasoning for better accuracy keep checking your emails for updates and you have to comment down how many questions you attempted in each section to help others to understand who are going to appear and i will also answer you if there is a chance for you to get interviews uh, email or not so i hope i have tried to cover everything if you have any more doubts put it in the comment and uh, you can join me on telegram and instagram make sure to subscribe if you haven't done yet because that is the most important that's all for this video thanks for watching the video and i will see you next time